of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. <laughs> I chuckle every time I think of this story. It was one of the funniest things that ever happened to Gray Wolf. You know that Gray Wolf is usually very quiet and reserved and doesn't have much to say. However, that doesn't mean he's asleep. Far from it. His trained eyes see things that most of us miss. Yes, even Stumpy misses things that Gray Wolf sees. He has a mental alertness. It's the envy of almost everyone that knows him. But in this story, Gray Wolf doesn't have a chance, even with all the excellent qualifications the man possesses. It seems everybody at everything gangs up on him as though they plan to pounce on him at once when he wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, boy, does he get it. <laughs> well, the story began just after Henry left to do some errands for me in Central City. Well, I suppose Henry will be gone two or three days. He's got quite a list of things to do in Central City. Besides, see Colonel Anders, and he's got some business in Junction City. A uh, monkey business or a real business, Bill? <laughs> I was having the same thought, Gray Wolf. <laughs> say, uh, maybe I should have given Henry my harmonica while he's gone oh, no. so he can have some music. <laughs> he's got a radio in the car for music, Stumpy. <laughs> now, there's a great A insult if I ever heard one. What do you mean? None of us can play that wind whistle. You know it. I'd gladly give you a fast lesson. Oh, no. Not on your life. Besides, I haven't got time. Hey, what did you have for breakfast that makes you so full of pep? Eh? What'd you say? <laughs> Forget it. As long as you've stopped playing that thing. Thing? You call this harmonica a thing? I'll have you know that this is a genuine, bony fight. Noisemaker. Noisemaker, huh? When I get a hold of you, there'll be a noisemaker, and its name will be Ranger Bill Jefferson. <laughs> You'd better take it easy, old-timer. Old-timer, I'll show you who's an old-timer. Hey, look out for that rock, Stumpy. Oh, oh, oh my back, oh. Stumpy, you all right? <laughs> okay now, Bill, I... It got me a hitch in my back, and he asked me if I'm all right. Oh, that teacher you act like you're 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, better answer the telephone, Bill. Uh, Gray Wolf, will you help me get my old bag of busted-down bones into the office? Oh, I'll help you. <laughs> then I'll rub you down with horse liniment. Horse liniment? What do you think I am, an old mule? <laughs> I not answer on grounds it might get me punch and nose. Hey, you trying to help me or, or kill me? I figure if I rub you down hard enough, it hurts so much you forget about other hurt. Now, there's about it through the piece of... Psychologies I've ever heard. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh hey, that oh, word hurt most. Oh, it used to be. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> you, you mean you hurt well, all over? <laughs> well, ain't that what you're trying to do? Yeah. Say, you ever get charged with trying to kill a man by massaging him to death? Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, uh, oh. I'll let you live a while. Oh. Yeah, I'm done now. Oh. Uh. How you feel? Like I rolled off Niagara Falls without a barrel. 
Say, what's ailing Bill? He's been acting mighty peculiar since that phone yes, call. Yes, I noticed that. What's going on, Bill? Yeah. yeah. What's on your mind? Whoever that guy was that called must think I'm some kind of an easy mark for a joke. Well, uh, let's hear the rest of it. No. He said we should come down to the supermarket right away. Well, what are they doing? Giving away free food? <laughs> no, this character said there's a cougar in the oh, supermarket. <laughs> oh, Bill, somebody really played a joke on you. Oh, right. I'll say they are. <laughs> they try to play a joke, but Bill, too smart to fall for it. <laughs> well, as Henry says, anybody that would fall for that ought to go to a head doctor for a roof job. <laughs> right. How could anyone be so dumb as to think we'd fall for that? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Cougar. <laughs> uh, it's probably yeah. the same clown calling again. Yeah. I wonder what his story is this time. Hey, hey, let phone ring. Answer hmm? when I give a signal, okay? I call a phone company on other line and have Tracer put on it. Well, now you're thinking. Oh, okay, Bill. Answer it. We got a tracer on it. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Hey, hey, slow down. Hey, slow down. I can't understand what you're saying. Hey, take it easy, will you? Slow down. Okay, hang up, Bill. Operator is tracing call now. Operator, do you find where call come from? It did. Thank you. Well, is it legitimate? Yeah, they trace call and say come from supermarket phone. Well, then it isn't a joke. Now, what's a cougar doing in the supermarket, Stumpy? How should I know? We'd better get over there and ask the cat. It's about time you rangers got here. I'm Ambrose Peoples, manager of this supermarket. Never in all my years of supermarket work have I had anything like this happen. A wild beast just walks into my store, chases everybody out, and takes over. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, what if that monster had eaten somebody alive or clawed them to death? It's a good thing I have a strong heart or I'd be dead from fright. Why, you fellows aren't even armed. You should have rifles, big rifles like they used to kill elephants with. Well, don't just stand there and look silly. Get that, that, that vicious beast out of there so my customers can get back into the store. Think of all the money I'm losing while you men stand there and do nothing. Why don't you... You better stop talking and sit down before you break blood vessels. Well, I can see that you don't take your responsibility very seriously at all. I'm losing money every minute you stand there. I, I want that cat... That what? Oh, my Saturday pills, I need them again. My nerves are very bad, just very bad indeed. And this isn't doing them any good. Where are your pills, Mr. Peoples? Inside the store in that little office right there by the door where it says checks, cash, and manager. Uh-huh. Oh, that animal. I'll have to get some more from Dr. Jones right away. I'll think. get them for you. I'll be right back, Gray Wolf. He'll be killed by that savage beast. Ambrose, you better cool down. You're going to blow a fuse. No cougar will attack a full-grown man except by mistake. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Besides that, Chad has that whole big store to himself, and Bill ain't going to crowd him none. <laughs> He's going to the drinking fountain with a cup. Now that wild animal hey, will attack calm him. calm down, Ambrose. You need water to take pills, don't you? Oh, I doubt that the pills will do any good now. My nerves are completely unraveled. Oh, oh good. Here comes Bill now. Well, here are your pills and some water, Mr. Peebles. Oh, thank you, thank you. <sighs> thank you again. I think I'll just sit down on the curb for a while. That's a good idea. You rest yourself for a while until you can calm down. Yes, I will. I'll do that. You, you, 
Well, you walked right into the jaws of that terrible beast and lived to tell about it. Oh, my boy. We do something quick before that man has to go to hospital. I wouldn't worry about him too much. The kind that let it out don't usually crack up. It's the kind that keeps it bottled up that end up in the hospital. Now, what do you want to do with that wild beast in there, Bill? Maybe we get heavy leather gloves and, and bury it and capture it. I have a strange feeling about that cougar, fellas. That's so. You remember him somewhere else, maybe? Oh, <laughs> Stumpy, you're impossible. <laughs> no, I think that's a tame cat. Hey, you might be right. But we get gloves and rope anyway. Then we go inside and find out for sure. Look out, you dumb cat. You can't walk on that pile of cans. Well, knucklehead, are you satisfied now? Look at the mess. <laughs> Look at him cock his head and listen to Bill, just like he understood. <laughs> He's not a wild cougar. That fellow's tame. Look at him. He's not trying to run away or climb the wall. Only a tame cat would come in a place like this. You know, young feller, I think you're right. That kitty belongs to somebody, sure as I'm a foot high. Look at the collar mark. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. That's a collar mark, all right. Here, take my gloves and rope. I try to coax him down from top of shelf alone. I was hoping you'd let me try it, Grey Wolf. Uh, no, I try. Even though he tame, he still claw plenty bad. He very young cat, not quite full size yet. Come on, Bill. Let's get back by the door and give Grey Wolf room to work. All right. Let's not get back too far, though. I want to watch Gray Wolf and see what goes on. <laughs> so do a hundred other people. Look at them gawking through the store windows. I'll say. I hope they don't push in that plate glass. Hmm. And cat's just sitting up on the shelf and looking at Gray Wolf. Yep. And he ain't spitting or getting nasty neither. Which means he ain't afeard of men. Gray Wolf sure playing it smart. He's talking to him. Yeah, you plenty nice cat, aren't you? I mean, you're not afraid of me, are you? Hey, how about you come over here? And show me you like to be my friend. Hey, you, you're a very fine cat and very smart. T too bad you're not able to talk. You, you belong to somebody who would train you and team you from kitten. <laughs> sure, you're a real friendly fellow. <laughs> hey, you, you don't lick my hands. That horse liniment, I, I forgot to wash off one in a <laughs> big hurry to get here. Hey, you get burning tongue from stuff. <laughs> Stumpy, I can't believe it. Do you see what I see? I'm not sure what I see, Bill, but I'm sure looking at it. That cat likes Grey Wolf, especially the horse liniment smell on his hands. <laughs> Wait till that stuff starts burning his tongue. I know one kitty that'll be looking for a small-sized iceberg to munch on. Everybody move back. Move back or I'll send for the police. Come on, hey, Ambrose, look out that terrible wire lion doesn't chew your leg off when he comes out. <laughs> oh, well, you can be as facetious yeah. as you want, but I'm not taking any chances with that wild beast. Oh, that's good hurt. thinking, Ambrose. <laughs> Why, that's the most savage and vicious lion I ever saw. He's even looking at Gray Wolf Sam. Look there, man alive. Well, everybody, everybody stay back. Here they come. Aren't you going to put a rope on the cat, Bill? Oh, well, he's very tame, Mr. Peoples. Besides, he sure likes the way Grey Wolf's hands smell. He's just crazy about horse liniment. <laughs> oh, I, I don't like the way he looks at me. 
get him out of here. All right, sure. We take him to headquarters in car. Come on, Mr. Cougar, whatever your name is. So long, Ambrose. <laughs> You're taking him in the car with you? Sure. What would you do? Make him run behind? <laughs> oh, this is too much. Too much. I... I, I'm glad so many people saw this, or I think I'm ready for the rest home. Why, they treat that wild beast like he's somebody's family house cat. Oh, where are my pills? Where are they? <laughs> Hey, this is great. He's just as contented as he can be. Does he like to be petted and have his ears scratched? <laughs> I've read about tame cougars and panthers and never thought I'd be this close to one. Uh, Gray Wolf, we can keep him here until we find out who owns him. They can pick him up. Oh, that's a good idea, Bill. But uh, where else we keep him since he's somebody's pet? I... Hey, I wonder what he eats as tame cougar. Can food. You can buy it in the store. Oh, Stumpy, you, <laughs> you crazy. Why, we have to open a hundred cans to feed this big fellow. You didn't take me seriously, did you? Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> well, i better go to meat market and get some meat for him, Mr. Cougar. Uh, you fellas take care of him, huh? Uh, we'll take real good care of him while you're gone, Gray Wolf. <laughs> yeah, Gray Wolf, I think someone else wants to go to. <laughs> it looks like you got yourself a real buddy. <laughs> yeah, they call dogs at fever only one master, one man dogs. Looks like Grey Wolf has a one man mountain lion. <laughs> Ranger Bill Jefferson speaking. Hello, is Joe there? Joe? Joe? Oh, no, you don't, Henry. You pulled that on me once before, and now I'm awake. How are all the famous rangers? <laughs> We're fine, but what's this famous stuff? Well, catching a cougar in the supermarket by using horse liniment. Hey, how'd you find out about that? I've got a radio in the car, remember? It's on the radio? Hey, fellas, the story about the cougars on the radio. Well, what do you know about that? We made history. Or I should say, Grey Wolf did. Uh, everybody think we're crazy to like this cat. Can you uh, hear them, Henry? Yeah, Bill, I hear them. Uh, can I talk to Grey Wolf? Sure. Uh, Grey Wolf, Henry wants to chin with you. Oh, good. Hello, Henry. Hello, genius. <laughs> Hey, you don't think I genius when I tell you maybe I not be able to get rid of Cat. <laughs> well, it isn't everybody that has a cougar for a pal. <laughs> hey, uh, how soon you come back, anyway? Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, I'll be delayed, but I should be back by the weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, we see what else we can do for excitement uh, without you to find it. <laughs> oh, cut it out, Grey Wolf. Well, I gotta go along now. Uh, goodbye. Uh, bye. <laughs> That cat sure loves you, Grey Wolf. He won't let you out of his sight. Don't you know the secret, Bill? The uh, horse liniment stumpy? Yeah! <laughs> that cat must have been born on a horse ranch. Oh, no. Grey Wolf just has that wonderful aroma about him. The oil of wintergreen reminds the kitty of the great pine trees and the wide open spaces. Ah, better wash liniment <laughs> off hands. Hey. You're not going to wash the liniment off, are you? What it looked like I do. Wash it on? Grey Wolf, how can you do that to such a good friend as Mr. Cougar? <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I don't like to sleep with the smell on my hands. <laughs> oh, uh, that reminds me. Yeah. What's ailing you? Sleep. Well, go right ahead. Don't let us stop you. Not me, the cat. I think Grey Wolf's going to have to take the cat home with him.
I draw a line right here. Cougar not going house with me. What are you going to do with him? He's got to sleep, too, you know. I time outside on porch. Come on, cat, at bedtime. <laughs> you think it'll work, young feller? Of course. I rub horse liniment on porch post to keep him company. <laughs> <laughs> See? Nothing to it. Good night. Good night, Grey Wolf. So long, Grey Wolf! Bill, why is so quiet? The fun ended too soon, Stumpy. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, let's stop here and listen. I suppose I shouldn't wish a man to lose some sleep, but I'd sure like to hear that cat sound off. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> Maybe I can give a little imitation that would do the trick. Just coax him along a little. <laughs> I don't think you'll have to, Stumpy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Gray Wolf's coming out on the porch now. <laughs> Looks like he's talking to the cat. Hey, Gray Wolf, take that critter in the house so we can get some sleep, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> will you take that cat to bed, will you, so we can get some sleep, huh? Okay, Sam, I hear without yelling. Well, it's about time. Why'd you get a small cat like everybody else has? No, you got to get one bigger than the rest. Bigger noise, too. I take him in the house. You go get a glass of hot milk. It'd make you sleep good all night. All I want is for you to shut that screaming banshee up, and I'll sleep fine. Good night. If you two don't shut up and go to bed, I'll run you both in for disturbing the peace. <laughs> Here comes O'Rourke. <laughs> Gray Wolf's got the cat in the house. <laughs> I have a strange feeling that Mr. Cougar ain't going to be happy until he's in bed with Grey Wolf. <laughs> Great day in the morning. What are you two characters up to? Hmm. It looks like it's been plenty from the way you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but... If I'm going to laugh, I better know what I'm enjoying myself about. <laughs> Sit down on the curb, Pat, <laughs> and rest yourself a bit. <laughs> All right. I'll give you laughing hyenas just two minutes to tell me what's going on. I'll run you in. <laughs> no time for that now. <laughs> uh, Pat, what's the penalty for peeking in somebody's window at night, huh? Depends. Whose window? Gray wolves. Well, no penalty for his window, I guess, but uh, <laughs> otherwise you might get a lump in your head. Why Grey Wolf's window, anyway? We want to see if the cat goes to bed with him. He won't tell us if he does, and we want to know for certain. <laughs> Come along and watch the fun. Well, now, that's an invitation I'll accept, to be sure. I always wanted to watch a lion tame the tamer. <laughs> Watch out for the bushes now. Cat, you sleep on floor now and be quiet. Hey, get out of bed. Get up. You fine pillow. <laughs> now sleep in bed with me. <laughs> okay. You sleep in bed. I sleep on floor. <laughs> and I cover you with a blanket. Tuck you in. I'm going to sleep. Good night. <laughs> well, I guess that's all for tonight. <laughs> Pop, that ain't all. Look, lad, see what's going on? Huh? Oh, yeah. Easy does it. Careful you don't make any noise now. <laughs> where's the cat? And where's Grey Wolf? Hey, look, fellas. The cat's tugging on Grey Wolf's undershirt. <laughs> He's 
trying to get him into the bed. <laughs> Quick, hunch against the wall. Did he see us? No. He's coming around this side of the bed now to fix the blankets. <laughs> the cat's sleeping on the other uh, side of him. Cougar, <laughs> let's go to sleep, huh? Once more and out you go. Pet or no pet. <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> oh, I guess that's all, fellas. Oh, good night, everybody. I gotta get home and get some sleep so I can be in the office before Grey Wolf gets there. I can't wait to see the look on his face. <laughs> Well, what's that, Stumpy? Don't ask me, Bill. I've never seen it before. Uh, say... That ain't one of them lion tamer fellers, is it? No, too worn out for that. Uh, they've got to be alert. Oh, I recognize him now. Good morning, Gray Wolf. And a friend. Huh. What good about it? Senores! Oh, senores, I have heard that you... About four days ago, he jumped off the truck from the back. Pepito and I, we ride in truck with my uncle. I find Pepito is gone, but I do not know where. Then I hear story on radio. How come it took you so long to get here? Oh, I have to wait for ride this far, senor. I come all the way from Mexico. Uh, what is your name? Uh, I am Pablo. And you know, senor, Pepito, he likes to ride to sleep in bed with Pablo all the uh. time. Since he little baby cat. <laughs> I learn all about that. Uh, you are Senor Grey Wolf? I tired. Uh, uh, thank you, Senor, for taking care of Pepito. Thank you very much. Someday, Senor, someday I catch baby cat and I send him to you for present mm. because you take care of Pepito so good. No, thank you. I like sleep. Cat does not. I must go now. Thank you again, Senor Grey Wolf. <laughs> Goodbye, Pablo. I'm glad you found your pet. Adios, senores. <laughs> well, Grey Wolf, I guess you can get some sleep now. Ah, uh, yes? Yes, sir, what can we do for you? Uh, good morning, gentlemen. I'm selling the best cure on the market for back aches and Whoa, sore muscles. Whoa, and... there, mister. Uh, what's the matter? You see that ranger sound asleep in that chair? Uh, yeah, I see him, but what's that got to do with me? Does he need some liniment? Far from it, mister. Uh, uh. Here, take this bottle of liniment with you and get while the getting's good. But, but what'll you do for back aches from now on? We soak backs in hot water uh. like we should do in first place. Y yes, sir. Th thank you. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, that's the last we ever saw of that salesman and also of Pablo and his tame cougar. Grey Wolf got his sleep, and when he woke up, he was once more a quiet and reserved human being. And Stumpy, now he soaks his muscular aches and pains in a tub full of hot water. <laughs> Not liniment. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill came to you transcribed from the studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.